Hello, welcome. In this video, let us look at the derivation of the Fourier series expansion of a sawtooth waveform. Of the sawtooth waveform. So, we are going to look at the Fourier series expansion of the sawtooth waveform. So, given this sawtooth waveform that has a period t equal to 2, uh, we want to find the Fourier series expansion. So, let us look at the solution. So, this is the time axis t and the signal is x of t. So, x of t is a sawtooth waveform. So, that means in the fundamental period it has a function uh, t from and the values change from minus 1 to plus 1. So, the interval is from minus 1 to plus 1. So, the definition of the signal in the fundamental period that is x of t is equal to t uh, in the interval minus 1 to plus 1. So, this is the definition of x of t in the fundamental period. So, by definition the same structure repeats in all the other intervals. So, note that the fundamental period is equal to 2. So, the frequency will be equal to 2 pi by t where t is equal to 2. So, t is equal to 2. So, omega naught is indeed equal to pi. Now, let us look at the definition of the complex exponential Fourier series. That is by definition x of n will be by definition x of t can be written as the summation n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity c n e power j omega naught n t. So, omega naught n t. So, that is the expansion the Fourier series expansion of x of t. Now, we have to find the values of c n. So, for n is equal to 0 c naught that is the fundamental the basic constant is 1 by t integral minus 1 to plus 1 x of t dt. That is the value of the signal within the fundamental interval that is from minus 1 to plus 1 divided by 1 by t. So, this is c naught. So, c naught is equal to 1 by t integral minus 1 to plus 1 and x of t uh, is basically equal to t. So, it is equal to we have t dt and this integral is obviously equal to 0 because t integral t dt is t square by 2 and uh, t square by 2 is equal to 1 for both 1 and minus 1. So, the difference is obviously 0. Now, for c n the definition is 1 by t integral uh, over t that is over the fundamental interval x of t e power minus j omega naught n t dt. So, that is the definition of c uh, n for n not equal to 0 that is for all other values of n not equal to 0. So, based on this signal the for the sawtooth waveform c n will be 1 by 2 integral minus 1 to plus 1 t e power minus j and omega naught is found uh, is given to be pi. So, pi n t d t therefore, c n is equal to now we can find this integral by using integration by parts. So, the first term will be uh, t multiplied by the integral of this function that is e power minus j pi n t over minus j pi n and the limits are minus 1 to plus 1 and then we have minus integral derivative of t that is 1 and then integral of e power minus j pi n t. So, integral of this function is e power minus j pi n t by minus j pi n d t and the limits are again from minus 1 to plus 1. So, now this is the value of c n. Now, let us evaluate this integral. So, let us uh, call this term as term 1 and this one as term 2. We will derive them separately. So, term 1 that is term the term 1 is basically uh, this function or this uh, the, the value of this function. So, it is equal to 1 by 2 and t is 1. So, 1 into e power t is equal to 1 and then e power minus j pi n into 1. So, e power minus j pi n and then we have minus of minus 1. So, that is t value is minus 1 that is second value is minus 1. So, we have minus of minus 1 e power j pi n that is t is minus 1. So, we have minus of minus plus e power j pi n and then divided and then divided by minus j pi n. Upon simplification this is basically going to be e equal to j times and then e power uh, j pi n plus e power minus j pi n by 2 becomes cos of pi n and in the denom in the denominator we have pi by pi n. Therefore, term 1 is j times cos of pi n by pi n. 
Now let us look at term 2. The second component it will be e equal to 1 by 2 and then this integral uh, will have second uh, then we have to evaluate this integral. So, it will be e equal to 1 by j pi n that is second term will be integral of this function which is e power minus j pi n t by minus j pi n. So, it will be 1 by minus j pi n e power minus j pi n t and the limits are minus 1 to plus 1. So, upon simplification this becomes 1 by pi square n square and then this will be e power minus j pi n and then minus e power j pi n that is for t equal to minus 1 and then we have divided by 2. So, this is basically e equal to minus of j sin function. So, so this is going to be e equal to minus j sin of pi n divided by pi square n square. Since n values are basically integers sin of pi n is always going to be 0. So, this term is always going to be 0. So, term 2 is basically 0. Hence, C n will be equal to term 1. Therefore, the value of C n that is the Fourier coefficient is given by j times cos of pi n divided by pi n and for n equal to 0 C naught is 0. Therefore, the complex Fourier series expansion of x of t is going to be summation n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity and n is not equal to 0 because the term at n equal to 0 is 0. So, uh, for this summation and then the terms are j times and since cos pi n is basically minus 1 power n and then pi n exponential of j omega naught is pi so uh, pi and t. So, that is the complex Fourier series expansion of x of t and for the trigonometric Fourier series expansion the trigonometric expansion can be easily derived from this result that is the again the constant is basically 0 um, uh, because of the nature of the signal and because it is an odd signal and then the coefficients that is the Fourier coefficients for example, for the for the cosine part uh, it will be a n is equal to real part of c n which is obviously equal to 0 and for the b n that is for the coefficients related to sine component it will be b n imaginary components of c n which are cos pi n divided by pi n or minus 1 power n by pi n. Therefore, the trigonometric Fourier series of x of t is minus 2 summation n is equal to 1 to infinity minus 1 power n by pi n sin of pi n t. So, that is the uh, trigonometric Fourier series expansion of x of t that is the sawtooth waveform x of t can be written as minus 2 summation n equal to 1 to infinity minus 1 power n by pi n sin of pi n t. So, to summarize given the sawtooth waveform so, the function can be written as x of t is equal to t in the fundamental interval that is from minus 1 to plus 1. So, the frequency or the uh, fundamental frequency omega naught is equal to 2 pi by t which is going to be 2 pi by 2 which is pi and the definition of the Fourier series is given by summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity c n e power minus j omega naught n and so we can derive these co coefficients for the n equal to 0 coefficient that is the 0 th coefficient c naught is given by the area under the function. So, 1 by t minus 1 to t or minus 1 to plus 1 x of t dt. So, which is found to be 0 and similarly c n is 1 by t x of t e power minus j omega naught n t dt and the integration is done over one fundamental period. So, c n is obviously equal to 1 by 2 minus 1 to plus 1 that is integration from minus 1 to plus 1 t times e power minus j pi n t dt. So, by using integration by parts we have found that uh, the, uh, the c n has two components. The first component is term 1 is basically j times cos of pi n by pi n. This term 2 is found to be 0 and then so based on this result we have c n is equal to j times cos of pi n by pi n which is uh, basically my, uh, j times minus 1 power n by pi n. So, uh, therefore, the complex Fourier series expansion of x of t is summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity j times e po minus 1 power n by pi n into e power j pi n t. And to find the trigonometric Fourier series, 
we can use the relation between the two and we can see that a n that is the coefficients corresponding to cos components are going to be zeros and coefficients corresponding to sine components are going to be minus 1 power n by pi n. Therefore, x of t that is trigonometric Fourier series of x of t is minus 2 summation n equal to 1 to infinity minus 1 power n by pi n sine of pi n t. Thanks for watching.